recording. All right, welcome everyone. So this is um, my last class for the year, but you know we'll start up again in January. Um, just grab notes. So. Um, as usual, grab any props that you need, any blankets or blocks that you need for your practice. Um, go at your own pace. Um, make this practice your own. If there's anything that doesn't feel good, you know, feel free um, to do something else to modify or to do or not do it at all and just breathe. So. Um, Let's get started. I thought with this being the end of the year with the holidays upon us and everyone just running around and trying to get things done um, and wrap things up that we just do some really relaxing stretching to de-stress and to just unlock some pent up energy in our shoulders and in our hips. So. Let's get started and seated. Coming into an easy seat. Finding your sit bones and grounding down. Checking your posture. Lining your shoulders over your hips. Your ears over your shoulders and slowing down your breathing. Taking a deep breath in. And slow exhale out. Sitting up, creating space in your torso. Breathing, slowing everything down. Coming into the present moment. Forgetting about all the things you have to do. This is your time for yourself, for your body to move, for your mind to rest. Filling your belly up like a balloon. Take big inhales and slow exhales out. Listening to your body, noticing how it feels. Inhaling love, compassion, and healing. And exhaling any fears, worries, and anxiety. Coming into the present. Just focusing on your breathing. And on your next inhale, reach the arms up. Bring the palms together. Exhale down to heart center. One more time, inhale. Big inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Bring your hands to your knees. Just looking to the right. And looking to the left. And again, look to the right. Look to the left. And looking up, 
Okay, sitting up. And down, bringing your chin to chest. Looking up again. And down, chin to chest. Coming back to center. Right ear to right shoulder. Extending the left arm out. Feeling the stretch through the left side of your body. Breathing into the stretch. Releasing, coming back to center. Left ear to left shoulder, extending the right arm out, fingertips to the mat. And then just rolling the head, chin to chest, up around making big circles with your nose. Taking that slow, gentle movement. Inhale as you come up and exhale. Your chin rolls down your chest. Just being really gentle with this movement. Meeting back at center. Let's reverse direction. Chin to chest. Circles the opposite way. Slowing your breathing down. Staying connected. Focusing on your breath. And then let's meet back at center. Do some shoulder rows, bringing the shoulders up and back. Up and back and around. And then reverse direction, back over and up to the front. And then coming to center, reaching the arms up overhead, grabbing opposite elbows and just pulling to the right and to the left. Stretching out the shoulders. And then release. Reach the arms up. Inhale. And then exhale, bringing the arms down to cactus arms, pulling the elbows back. Taking a breath here. We'll exhale out. Inhale and exhale and turn to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. And release, bringing the hands down. Okay, let's switch out the legs. Bringing the, the leg, the, the foot that was in back, bringing it forward, front. And let's reach the arms up, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Reaching the arms forward, 
Letting the head, neck, and shoulders rest. You can sway side to side. Feel your back muscles stretching. Roll the head side to side, up and down. Staying connected with your breath. Taking one more breath in. Exhale out. And then slowly walk your hands back up. Reach the arms and back. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the heart, opening up the chest. Squeezing the shoulder blades. One more breath in. So exhale out. Coming back to center. Reach the arms up. Side bend to the right. Right arm down, left arm extends overhead. Keeping the left sit bone down on the mat. Staying grounded. Feeling that line of energy up through the left side of your body. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. And reaching over to the left side, right hand on the mat. Left arm overhead. Left arm on the mat, right arm overhead. Stretching out all those muscles between the ribs. Helps you to breathe better. One more inhale, big exhale out, come back to center, reach the arms up, twist to the right, right arm comes in back, left arm on right knee, gazing over the right shoulder, lengthening the spine, sitting up, and exhale, Twist and in deeper into your your twist. Hi, this is Paul Abgerino. Please check out Ganesha from the <laughs> Sorry, that's Pandora Radio. <laughs> it will help to keep you happy no ads. And focused in these scary times. Thanks for listening and please stay safe and well. And then release, come back to center. Let's cross over. Let's bring the right hand over to the opposite knee. Give yourself a big bear hug. Lifting the arms up, forearms up into eagle arms, or you can bring the backs of the hands together, whichever feels more comfortable for you. Lift the elbows up. Pull the forearms away from your face. Gaze up to the sky. Inhale, and then exhale. And your chin to chest, rounding the shoulders. And then coming back to center. Lifting and releasing slowly, rolling out the shoulders. Then reach the arms up, inhale, and twist to the left, 
left arm and back, right arm on left knee. Gazing over the left shoulder, keeping the spine lifted. Twisting at the rib cage. Taking one more inhale. So exhale out, reaching the left arm over to the right knee, cross over. Come into your bear hug, lifting the elbows, lifting the forearms up to eagle arms. Feeling this stretch in your shoulder blades. Breathing into that. And then gazing up. And then slow exhale out, rounding the shoulders, bowing the head. Feeling the shoulder blades separate. And inhale and come up and release and roll that out. Okay, let's come to tabletop. Let's stretch out our wrist, turning the fingers toward our knees. And then slowly leaning back Bringing the hips back to stretch the forearms. Inhale. Slow exhale out. Releasing the hands. Shaking them out, rolling them out. And then let's turn the tops of the, the hands over so the tops of the hands are on the mat, keeping the elbow bent. Just do one side and then slowly straighten the arm, straighten the elbow. And if that feels okay, you can Externally rotate the arms so the inside of the elbow is facing forward. Being very gentle with this stretch. Taking one more breath in. And slow exhale out. Releasing the hand and just grabbing the hand by the wrist. You're uh, using grabbing the wrist by your with your hand and then slowly shaking it out. Okay, let's switch sides to the other side. Whatever side you gonna switch to the hand um, top of your hand on the mat. Fingers are spread out. Start out with the elbow bent. Then extending and straightening the elbow. And then if that feels good, externally rotating the arm. So the inside of the elbow is facing forward. And breathing into the forearms, the wrist muscles, the tendons that are the ligaments that are all in the hand. Okay, taking one more breath in. Slowly exhaling, releasing the hand and then supporting the wrist and shaking it out. Good. Let's come back to all fours. Let's do some cat cows, keeping this extending and flexing the spine. So coming to neutral spine, your wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. And taking a cow, 
And then extend the chest forward, lifting the tailbone up, dropping the belly, and exhaling to cat, rounding the shoulders, belly button to spine, flexing the back. Inhale, cow, lifting the tailbone, chest forward, exhale to cat, pushing the hands into the mat. Inhale, cow, exhale to cat. One more time, cow. And exhale, cat. Okay, and then just roll it out. Make some hip circles. Find whatever movement that feels good. And then extending the right leg back. Ball of the foot on the mat. Push into the heel. Stretch the calf muscle. Pushing into the mat with your hands. Give yourself some stability. Breathing into the stretch. It's good because we're sitting down all day. This helps stretch out your foot, your plantar muscles. And then crossing over bringing the right leg over to the left corner and squeezing the side, left side of your body, left shoulder to left hip, gazing over your left shoulder. Feeling the stretch through your right hip. One more breath in. And exhale out, coming back to all fours. Swaying side to side. Let's switch sides, extend the left leg back. Follow the foot on the mat and push into the heel. Pushing your arms, your hands into the mat. Keeping your pet tailbone down. And then crossing the left leg over to the right corner of the mat, squeezing the right side of your body, right shoulder to right hip. And then slowly releasing, come back to center. Roll that out. Then we're gonna walk the hands forward into a low lunge position. So stepping the right foot in between the hands. We're gonna lift this torso up. Reach the arms up overhead. And exhale down into cactus arms. Pulling the shoulders back. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Taking one more inhale. Slow exhale out. Reach the arms up. And then we're going to twist to the right, left arm forward, right arm back, warrior two arms. Keeping the tailbone tucked, spine long. One more breath in. And so exhale out bringing the hands down, 
to frame the foot. And then we're gonna heel toe the foot out. So it comes outside of the right hand. We're gonna come into a lizard pose. If you want to take a deeper stretch, you can bring the forearms down to the mat. Stretching out the left hip flexor, the right legs, taking out any tension from the hips. And on your next inhale, bring the hands under the shoulders, push yourself up. And then keeping the left hand down on the mat, reach the right arm up to the sky into a twist, rotating the chest up. And from here, you can stay here. You can try to take a corkscrew pose, lifting, bending the left leg, grabbing it with your right hand, rotating the chest up, rolling the shoulders back opening up the chest. Okay, taking one more breath in. And then slow exhale out. Coming back. And stepping the foot back into all fours. And again, just rolling it out. Rolling the hips, making circles. Move the body, making circles. Bringing the chest down and over. Whatever feels good. Okay, and let's switch sides. Walk the hands to forward. And placing the left foot in between the hands. Coming into a low lunge. And then lifting the torso up, bring the hands to the knees, reaching the arms up overhead into a crescent lunge. And exhale into cactus arms, pulling the elbows back, squeezing the shoulder blades. Lifting the heart. Then inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale into a twist, facing the left. Right arm extends forward, left arm extends back. Maintaining your breath. Slow, rhythmic breathing. Keeping the spine long. Taking one more inhale. And slow, exhale out. Bring the hands down, framing the foot. Then heel toe, the foot outside of the left pinky, coming into lizard. You can stay here, you can lower down your forearms and stay here for a bit. Releasing the tension as we sit all day long. And placing the hands under the shoulders, push yourself up. And then keeping the right hand on the mat, reach the left arm up to the sky into an easy twist. Looking up at your left hand. Taking one more breath in. And those of you who want to take the corkscrew can bend the left leg, grab it with your 
I mean, bend your right leg, grab it with your left hand, roll the shoulder back, rotate the chest up to the sky. Taking one more breath in and exhale out, release. And then lifting the back leg, bring the left leg back to all fours and bringing the big toes together, separating the knees, sit back into child's pose. Extending the arms forward. Let's walk the hands over to the right. Stack the left arm over the right arm, right left hand over the right hand. So you should feel the stretch through the left side of your body. And walk the hands to center. Walk it over to the left side. Stack the right hand over the left hand. And walk the hands back to center. Then lifting up the right shoulder, we're gonna thread the needle, thread your left arm under your right shoulder, bringing your left ear down to the mat, extending the left hand in front of you or to the right in front of you. And the the right arm extends over the head on the mat, feeling the stretch through your left shoulder. Okay, then slowly come out of that. Reach the left arm up. Now let's switch sides. Bring the right arm under your left shoulder. Extending, stretching the right shoulder. The left arm extended overhead. Stay here for a while. And taking one more breath in. So exhale out, coming back to all fours. We're going to do some standing poses today. Going to tuck the toes and push up into a down dog. So, making sure your hands are grounded into the mat, fingers are separated like starfish. You can bend the knees to lengthen the spine. And then you can slowly extend them. You can walk your dog out, bend one knee, extend the other. Bring your chin to chest, pulling the lower belly in.
Taking deep breaths here. And then we're going to slowly walk to our hands, coming into a forward fold. And you can bring the feet about hip, hip, hip distance apart, grabbing opposite elbows and bending the knees. You can bend them as much as you want. Coming into a ragdoll position. So we're letting the head and the neck relax. You can sway side to side. Head down. One more breath in and then extending the arms out, down, keeping the left hand on the mat and reaching the right arm up to the sky and bringing the pinky finger to thumb, ring finger to thumb, middle finger to thumb and point your finger to thumb and releasing, bringing the right arm down, and then switching sides, extending the left arm up to the sky, coming into a twist, bringing your pinky finger to thumb, ring finger to thumb, middle finger to thumb, pointer finger to thumb. And then slowly coming back to your forward fold. And slowly coming into a halfway lift. Extending the spine, flat back, and then lifting up to standing. Okay, from here, we're going to come into a wide-legged stance. The toes are slightly pigeon-toed, so they're pointing in. Bringing the hands to the hips, taking a big inhale, lengthening the spine. We're gonna hinge at the hips, coming into forward fold, extending the arms down. So the fingers are in line with your, your toes or your heels. and bringing the chin to chest and just gazing over the tip of your nose. Stay here for about three breaths. Then on your next inhale, slowly come back up. Hands to the hips, and let's bring the hands around, clasp it in the back, roll the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades, then hinging at the hips, picking another forward fold, reaching the arms up, knuckles up to the sky, bringing your chin to chest, then gazing over your nose, Stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly coming up. Hmm. Okay, let's cartwheel the hands down. Back to a forward to a low lunge. How's everybody? Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's step back, coming into all fours. Let's walk the hands forward into the puppy pose, keeping the knee, the hips over the knees. I'm gonna stretch out the shoulders, 
the armpits. You can bring the forehead down to the mat, or if you can, bring the chin down. Take one more breath in. So exhale out and pushing the body forward and coming into Sphinx pose. Forearms are parallel to each other. Palms are on the mat. The tops of the legs are pressed into the mat, coming into a gentle back bend. Climb the hands into the mat. Pull the hands back, pushing the chest forward, relaxing the shoulders. You can turn the turn to the right, look to the right, look to the left, and then coming back to center. For those who want to deepen the stretch, you can bend the knees. And then those who want even a deeper stretch, you can extend one leg and grab a bent leg and rotate the chest up. Come back to center. Those who want to take the, the, the bent leg stretch can pull it. Stretching the quad, rotating the chest up to the sky. Releasing, coming back to center. And then resting the forehead down bringing the hands together, index fingers and thumb together to create a little diamond. You can rest your forehead there. Just giving your back a rest. And bringing the hands, arms down to the side, bringing the left ear down to the mat to stretch the neck. Relaxing the shoulders. And switching sides, bringing the right ear down to the mat. Feeling just relaxing and feeling the stretch in your neck. And extending the arms to the side, we're gonna roll our shoulders out a little bit more. So we're just gonna push our bodies over, rolling over onto the right hip, bringing the left leg over to the back and behind your right leg, bringing the right ear down to the mat. I'm feeling the stretch in your shoulders. You feel a stretch to the front of the right shoulder. You can adjust how deep you want to go with your hand, with your left hand on the mat. You can push harder and push it. You want to go deeper. Do what feels good. Kind of an intense stretch. Take one more breath. And exhale out. Release, come back to your belly. Let's switch sides, roll over to your left shoulder. Bring the right arm, right leg and back of the left leg. And using your right hand in front of your body to adjust how much of a stretch you want.
And then slowly releasing, coming back to your belly. Bring your hands under your shoulders, push up, back into a child's pose. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Bringing the hands together in prayer position, lifting the hands over. Bring it to the back, to the bottom of your neck. And then walking the elbows forward a little bit to feel the stretch in your triceps. And slowly releasing the hands. Bring it back to the mat. Push yourself up into seated, into a seated position, actually sitting on your heels. We're gonna stretch out our planter, stretch out our feet. Bring the hands to your thighs. You can bring the hands around, clasp it, roll the shoulders back. And slowly release. And then we're going to come into seated. So bring your hips down, swing the legs in front, coming into a Dandasana position. Legs are extended straight in front of you, hands are next to your hips. And sitting up, keeping the spine long, holding this position can point the toes, extend, flex, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, roll the ankles out, reverse direction, and then reaching the arms up for head, Extending the spine, we're going to forward fold in a Paschimottanasana, keeping the lower back straight, chest to the toes. And then when you can't go any further, bow the head, bring the chin to chest. You can also give, bend the knees a little bit to extend the spine longer and then press the legs into the mat to just go further to find your edge. And then slowly releasing, coming back up. Let's do um, some Janu Shoshasana or Pavrita Janu Shoshasana. So we're gonna extend the, the right leg out, bring the left knee in, bend, bend it. And so your, your left um, foot is up against the inner thigh of your right leg. So we're out a little bit, not instead of forward, which is regular Janu Shoshasana. So we're gonna move the torso toward the toes and extend forward, bring the chest toward the toes. Breathing in, keeping the spine long, keeping the lower back straight. And then slowly release, coming back up to center. Then we're gonna take the, the left, the right elbow, bring it inside the right leg and reach the left arm over, over to the toes. Okay, 
Taking one more breath in. Slowly exhale out. Coming back up to center. And let's switch sides. Right leg extends out, or left leg extends out. Right, right um, leg is bent. You reach the arms up. And then turn the torso toward your toes, keeping the spine long, bring the chin, the chest toward your toes. And then when you reach your edge, you can bring the chin to chest. Hold this for three more breaths. Three, two, and one. And then slowly exhale, come back up. Now bringing your left elbow inside your left leg. Reach the left right arm over. Try to catch the toe if you can. I can't, oh, I can kind of, but not really. Feeling the, the stretch in your left, in your right side of your um, back. For three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Shake the legs out. <coughs> Bringing the soles of the feet together to Baddha Konasana legs. Take another forward fold, grabbing the toes. Keeping the spine straight, spine long, back straight. Slowly lower. And then lowering the head, just bowing down, keeping the, the back straight. Taking one more breath in. So exhale out. Keeping the spine long. Reaching the arms up and then twisting to the right. <laughs> Gazing over the right shoulder. One more breath in. And exhale, come back to center. Reach the arms up. Inhale and then twist to the left, left arm and back, right arm on left knee, gazing over your left shoulder. One more breath in. So exhale out, slowly releasing, coming back to center. Okay, let's shake that out again. And then um, let's come to our backs. So come bringing your feet, soles of the feet on the mat, arms out in front, slowly lower down. Slowly lower down onto your back, bringing your knees into the chest. Rock side to side, give your back a massage. Lower the feet down, back onto the mat. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. And pull your left thigh into the chest. The figure four stretch. Stretch it out the right hip and the right glute. the lower back on the mat, 
keeping the toes flexed to protect the knees. Letting the body feel heavy, like it's melting into the mat. And then extending the arms to the side into a T, just dropping the knees over to the left side, gazing over your right arm. You can use your left hand to pull the right knee gently over to the left side. Coming into the pine twist. And releasing, coming back to center. Bring the feet back to Soles of the feet back to the mat. Let's switch sides, cross the left. Ankle over the right knee. Pull the right leg into your chest. Keeping the toes flexed. Opening up the left hip. Left glute. Taking one more breath in. Extending the arms out into a T and then dropping the knees over to the right side. Gaze over your left arm. You can use your right arm now to pull the left knee over to the right side. And then slowly releasing, come back to center. Pull the knees into the chest. And then coming ending, coming up to a ba happy baby. Just grabbing the outer edges of your feet, pushing into your hands with your feet, bringing the knees into the armpits. And you can rock side to side like a baby would. Feeling the stretch through your groin muscles, and your thighs. Extending the lower back. And releasing knees to the chest, forehead to the knees. Squeezing into a little ball and inhaling. Get a big inhale and then slowly releasing into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Bringing the feet out to the outer edges of the mat. Arms a few inches away from the body, palms facing up. Closing your eyes, breathing naturally. If you want, you can always put a blanket on your hips or under your knees, make yourself comfortable. This is a time in your practice where you integrate all the benefits of the poses that you've done into the body. rejuvenates the, the body, rejuvenates the mind, brings everything together. And I'll lead you through a short relaxation exercise. 
Gonna just check the body for any areas of tension. Just relaxing the right leg from your toes to your hips. Relax the left leg from your toes to your hips. Relax the right arm from your shoulders to your fingertips. Relax the left arm from your shoulder to your fingertips. Relax the belly. Relax the spine. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. Relax your face. Relax your brows. Relax your jaw. Relax your mind. Relax your whole body. Letting your body melt into the mat. Feeling the energy and prana flowing through your body, going to every cell, healing and nourishing. And when you're ready, you can start bringing awareness to the body. Wiggling the toes, moving the fingers, gentle movement to the body, swaying the head side to side. Just 
reaching the arms up overhead, taking a full body stretch, rolling over into the fetal position. Taking a few breaths here, noticing your body, checking in with your breathing. Thanking yourself for coming to your mat today. And when you're ready, you can push yourself up to seated. Finding your, your sit bones, sitting up. Take some body circles here. Reversing direction. Coming back to center, reaching the arms up, taking a big breath in, bringing the hands together, exhaling, down to heart center on Jali Mudra. Thank you for joining me today and sharing your time and allowing me to guide you in your practice. May your heart be kind, your mind fierce, and your spirit brave. In gratitude, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Happy holidays. Have a good Christmas, Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jana. That was great. Oh, thanks, Dana. Thanks, Jana. Everybody, thanks, have a happy. Thank you. Have a nice, safe Christmas. And you thank you. See you next year, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Same to you. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Crystal. Thanks for joining. Thanks, too. Thanks, Leon. I loved your hot chocolate. It was so good. Okay, Penny.